Good morning. It's so good to be with you today, Life Transformation family. Friends and family. And I want to continue on the Holy Spirit. But the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Okay. But let's see the Evangelist Peter Tlaohu. But we try to run through the Lord. But there are nine gifts. What do you think? Come on. But one fruit of the Spirit, and we see it in Galatians chapter five. 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 Galatians chapter five.
Do not quench the Holy Spirit. There are many times in our lives where we, we strive for things. We're like, Holy Spirit, we put you on the side. And I want to try to do this with all my strength. And then when I can no longer do it, then you come. So we, we, we quench him because he's here to produce. He's here to want this fellowship with you. But then we put him on the side. And she thought, so we want to put the in the clay, then you know, who got how could you name? Man, the clay, then you know, you produce. Bang, more. Okay, got a good seat, see. Okay, she had seas, no, no, loot see, no, one to pay to love who. Okay, now this may be a shock to some of you. Okay, we are not called to work on our character. Okay. We are not called to work on our character. You and I, we can't change our character. We are called to work on our relationship and intimacy with the Holy Spirit. And He will work on our character in return. Okay? He is the one who produces the fruit in your life. Okay? You, you know, you and I, in our own strength, we, we do not have self-discipline. We do not have self-control. We will be tempted. Sin will come. We will be tempted. We will fall. Okay? We will commit sin. Now, okay? So, it's the Holy Spirit who produces the fruit in your life. The fruit in our lives. Okay? You and I, we do not have the strength to do so. Okay? Godly character. It's produced by the Holy Spirit. Now, let me say this. A life that is filled by the Holy Spirit, it's not you or I trying to live for God, okay? But letting the Holy Spirit live through you, through and through. Holy Spirit, live, come, fill me, through and through me, okay? So we, we receive salvation when we believe in Jesus Christ, Okay, we believe that he died in our place. He died on the cross. And, and on the third day, God raised Jesus from the dead. You receive salvation. When you believe that, you believe with your heart. Okay, But when you are a Christian, you believe, do you know how character is developed? Right? The Bible calls us to be Christ-like, to, to be disciples. Okay? But do you know how it is developed? How these characters are developed? Okay. Let me tell you. Let me give it to you today. It results when you and I wholly surrender. Surrender to the Holy Spirit and let Him live in what? Our place. In our lives. In our place. Let Him live in our life. Let Him, His life through you. Okay. Now, salvation come. When Jesus died in our place. Salvation comes when Jesus died in our place. But the word sanctification here now. Sanctification comes when we let Jesus live in our place. See, you see the difference? You believe in Christ, salvation comes. But sanctification comes when Jesus live in our place. Okay? Now, of course, it's easier for most of us to, you know, to let Jesus die for us than to let him live in our place. Okay? It's easier to believe in him. He died for me. He died for us. He's my Lord and Savior. It's easier to do that and to live in our place. Because the second part, the second part after you believe, is surrender. And that's the part that a lot of people find it hard to surrender. Okay? Now, this misconception, this misunderstanding is we we so often replace surrender with striving. Striving. Now let me tell you, striving produces okay the work of the flesh. You work hard at it, okay. You 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 want to be. We're currently biking right now. I want to be a good biker. I want to I want to bike. Okay, the bike of the century, 100 mile, I have to keep riding. Every time I ride, I have to go another extra five miles. I have to keep striving. I have to stay fit, okay, for prepare myself for that. Now, striving produces the work of the flesh. But surrendering, okay, 
Nyongsi, surrendering produces the fruit of the spirit. Okay, surrendering, that's the key here this morning. Okay, now let me give you an example. The fruit of the Holy Spirit is like having kids. Okay, many of you have kids. Okay, children are, are the result of what? Intimacy. Okay, with husband and wife, intimacy. All right, they get married, intimacy. Now, many people come to the altar, many people come to the pastors and ask us to lay hands and, you know, let pastor lay hand on me and pray for me so that I can change my character, you know. But let me tell you, laying hands on you cannot get you pregnant, okay? Laying hands on you cannot get you pregnant. You can't get pregnant because you came to the altar, you came to the pastor to lay hand and pray for you. You need to have a relationship and intimacy, okay? You need to have relationship and intimacy with your spouse, okay? Kids as comes as a result of intimacy, okay? The same is true of the Holy Spirit, His character, it's, it's fruits that follows intimacy. When you have intimacy with the Holy Spirit, He will produce fruits in your life. Okay? So husband and wife, through intimacy, the result comes kids. Holy Spirit in you, intimacy, fellowship, He produces the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Okay? Now, you and I, we know that Christian, Dun Jane, our godly character will not be developed through striving, working hard at it. I'm going to be patient. I'm going to be patient. I'm going to be patient. It doesn't work by striving for it. Okay. It is a result of surrendering. I surrender my life to you. I surrender everything to you. Every area of my life to you, Holy Spirit. I surrender to you. Surrender to you. Surrender to the Holy Spirit. So let me tell you this. Stop trying harder. How many times have you tried so hard to work on your character, to be more patient today, to be more loving today, to be more, more, more kind, more, more, and more of this? You have failed. Because by your own works, by your own effort, you cannot produce this fruit. That's why it's called the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Okay? You and I need to surrender, and we need to start yielding to the Holy Spirit on a daily basis. Wake up in the morning, the first thing you say, Holy Spirit, I surrender everything to you. Fill my life. Fill every area of my life. Be in control. Control my life. Okay? So, when you have that, when you do that, and temptation comes your way, okay? Temptation presents itself for you and to, to act out your character, to be mad, to be angry. You know, at that moment, when you already surrender to the Holy Spirit, when temptation comes, allow the Holy Spirit, okay? Go with the Holy Spirit, all right? Follow the Holy Spirit away from sin, okay? You will sense the Holy Spirit prompting you, tugging you, okay? And, and bringing you to the foot of the cross, bringing you to Christ, all right? That's why I was last week. Do not grieve the Holy Spirit. Do not ignore His whisper. Because when you ignore His whisper, you are grieving the Holy Spirit. Okay? Now, let me end with this. Our goal as believers, as Christians, is not holiness. Our goal is not holiness, but the Holy Spirit. That's our goal. Okay? Because the Holy Spirit will bring you and I into holiness when we follow him when we have fellowship and intimacy with him okay holy spirit is the goal he is the goal okay he is not a means to a goal he is the goal okay now i'm not using the holy spirit to get holy i am holy surrender to the holy spirit okay i can't live without the holy spirit you and I, we cannot live without the Holy Spirit. We need the Holy Spirit. His fruit produces holiness in you and I, in our lives. One of my favorite passages is Galatians 2.20. And that's, that's, it's been my life, long journey. Uh, it speaks of my life. 
For I have been crucified with Christ. It's no longer I who lives, but Christ who lives in me. You know, I die to my sin. I die to this world. I die. I die. And let the Holy Spirit live in me. Okay? Make me alive. Let him fill me. Okay? Another passage that I really like in John chapter 15, and uh, verse 1 and 8, talks about Jesus saying that, Remain in me and I will remain in you. Okay? He is the true vine. We are the branches. And branches cannot produce fruit. When we, without the vine, you need a vine, you need to be sold on the vine. He is the true vine and we will produce. Okay? And he says, apart from Christ, you can do nothing. Remain in Christ and his word. Ask anything and it will be granted to you. Okay? And when you produce much fruit, you are my true disciples. Okay, that's the word of our Lord Jesus Christ. So, take all note, thank you know, and God bless you today. Remember, go to the Holy Spirit, surrender to Him. Stop working harder, but working smarter. Go to the Holy Spirit.